In Joshua 20, the Lord instructs Joshua about the cities of refuge. Look at verse 2 with me. Now tell the Israelites to designate the cities of refuge, as I instructed Moses. Anyone who kills another person accidentally and unintentionally can run to one of these cities. They will be places of refuge from relatives seeking revenge for the person who was killed. You see, in the book of Exodus, book of Numbers, and here in Joshua 20, we're introduced to the cities of refuge. Why, what are these? Well, we know from Old Testament law that clearly anyone who committed murder was to be put to death. But for unintentional or unclear situations, God set aside these cities of refuge where an individual could find refuge if he was involved in a death of an individual. Now, if he was found innocent of death, he could live there safely. But if he left the city of refuge, he opened himself up to whatever judgment the loved ones of the deceased would bring upon him. Now, you may be asking, how does this passage connect and relate to us? Well, see, the Bible applies this picture of the city of refuge to believers finding refuge in God on more than one occasion. Psalm 46, one says, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. And more than 15 other times in the Psalms, God is spoken of as our refuge. You see, these cities were set up for people of Israel, but also those who were described as strangers in the land, meaning anyone could come to these cities to find safety. Now, it's true that the cities of refuge only help the innocent, but we know that before God's standard of holiness, there is no one completely innocent. So all of us can come to Jesus and find refuge and forgiveness. You see, by trusting in Jesus, the perfect one, the one with the perfect life and sacrificial death and miraculous resurrection, we have perfect refuge.